Hey there guys, it's Liv here from Neighbourhood. Are you looking to fine tune your ticket pipeline but just don't know where to start? Well, today we're going to show you step by step about how to customise your ticket pipeline inside HubSpot. As a heads up, this applies to all hubs if you're looking to use this feature. If you're keen on more practical support inside HubSpot, Neighbourhood offer a comprehensive, easy to follow course so that you're making the absolute most out of your investment. Stay tuned for more information at the end of this video. If you want to take your learning offline though, we'll include a downloadable PDF in the description bar below. Okay guys, let's customise this ticket pipeline. If we go up to the top to the main navigation to service hub and then to tickets, we met immediately with the ticket pipeline, a bit like a simpler version of the deal pipeline inside the um, sales hub tools. So in here you can see the default stages that HubSpot gives you out of the box are new, waiting on them, waiting on us and closed. Assuming that new is a new ticket or a new um, support request from a customer in need of some help. In terms of how we customize this ticket pipeline though, to maybe change the stages or add in automation, automated emails off the back of particular stages, we'll just click on that settings cog up the top and we'll automatically be met with the ticket settings. In here, you'll go into pipelines and you'll be able to see the back end of your ticket pipeline. So in this case, we can change the status names based on what makes sense to us. Perhaps waiting on them doesn't make sense. You could change it to waiting on the customer or the requester, waiting on us, waiting for the support team, response, that kind of thing. Um, whatever makes sense to you. As well, if there are more stages in your, in your support process, you can add in other status names, um, choose whether or not it would be an open or closed status and also update the status properties. So perhaps at each stage, you need to glean more information about that support request or about that person. You could actually go into each stage and edit the properties that your customer support um, representative will need to know at this stage. So you can add in whether there was a resolution, what the source of this person was, the ticket name, ticket owner, etc. whatever makes sense to you. As well as that, you also have the automate tool. So in here you can see that HubSpot will automatically update the ticket status when an email is sent to a customer and it will change the status of the ticket to waiting on them and when a customer replies to the email it will automatically change to waiting on us meaning that the whole support process is completely automated so that you don't have to go in and manually update those stages which is great. However there's a bit more that you can do. I'm sure when you've spoken to HubSpot support, they do it really, really well. Um, and whenever you finish speaking to a support person, they'll always send you a follow-up email afterwards asking for feedback and whether your question was resolved. Um, so you might do the same thing. In this case, you could say, um, you could create a mini workflow off the back of any one of these stages. But the way that HubSpot do it is they go to, when a ticket reaches closed, create a workflow. And in here, there are some available um, actions. We'll go send an email. And in here, I'll choose this email that I created earlier on, which is just a thank you email. I'll go save and then update that. So that now whenever a ticket or whenever we move a ticket to that closed stage, the customer or support request will automatically receive a thank you email and perhaps a request for feedback. It's as easy as that. And there you have it. You now know how to customize your ticket pipeline. If you're wanting to make the most out of HubSpot, Neighborhood offer a step-by-step -step course covering marketing, sales, service, and the CMS hub in depth, ensuring that you and your team are best serving your customers while developing efficient internal processes. We'll include a link for this down below. As well, if you're after a PDF version of this for later or you're passing it on to a mate in need, we'll include a link for this in the description. If you gained any value from this video or are just keen to learn a bit more about HubSpot, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. But for now, happy HubSpotting.